we are not indicting the NSC, but we have certain information that we wouldn't want NSC to come close to us. Let us investigate this man. Let us get to the root of this matter. Let us forget about he went to our secretariat, he went to do this. We have powers to bust anywhere we want to bust. Once we know that criminals are hiding here or there are certain criminal uh, items in a particular place, the powers, mm. the powers are there for us. And we didn't do, we didn't do it alone. Mm. Police operatives were not there alone. It was a joint operation and well coordinated. So, following the end bad governance protests, a lot has happened, and one of these is the behavior of the Nigerian police. In as much as we understand that they have never been professional in their dealings, the issue of insecurity in Nigeria has been exposed again. And this will now bring us to the fact that something happened during the weekend. Initially, I've been overlooking this particular video, but then with the recent response of the IG of police yesterday being Monday, where he talked about the boggling of the Nigerian Labour Congress in Lagos, as well as the protests that ended during the weekend, I said, okay, it is nice time for us to have a conversation about the insecurity in Nigeria and the way our security agency con conduct themselves most of the time. Now, the end bad, bad governance protest was actually peaceful, not until the police decided to be shooting gun and shooting tear gas on the peaceful protestants, which in some cases resulted into the face out between the protestants and the Nigerian police, you know. But away from that, now a lady and her husband returning back to Nigeria at the airport, she decided to destroy the husband's um, international passport. And as a result of that, so many people have been, you know, talking about this particular issue, blaming the lady and a lot of issues, you know, surrounding the particular family. But one of the things that nobody is looking at carefully is the fact that the lady violated the, 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 the laws of the land by tearing that particular passport. You have no right to tear that passport, as she did. In the presence of custom officers, immigration officers, police were there, and other security agencies. So why is it that she was not arrested immediately she did that? This will now bring us to the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. When you look at the insecurity in Nigeria today, you will understand that most of the time, you will see that a crime has just been committed, but then before you see the response of a security agency, it will take ages. Maybe they might have escaped and all of that. Just like the uh, IG of police stated in his speech while addressing the uh, the youth during the youth summits in Abuja where he talks about some people who were actively you know committed to the crisis in Sudan who are now in Nigeria trying to destabilize the country are the one that they actually track uh, track to the labor uh, congress house in Lagos so when you look at all of this you will now be you know trying to connect the dots this lady violated the law it is just the matter of them at that particular point in time, pick her up, and not just to, not to harass her, pick her up, take her to the station within the airport and question her. Why did you do this? And now you, you have done this and done that according to the law, according to the constitution, you are not meant to do this and that. And for that reason, we are going to keep you and we will now proceed to charge you before any competent court of jurisdiction within the FCT and all of that. But that was not the case. They allow her to leave. They allow her to go home. And then later they are releasing a press statement that they are they are investigating the issue. They are, they are they are calling on the lady to come and you know tell them and if they get substantial information from her then they will proceed with persecution or whichever decision they decided to take after the investigation. The investigation was to be carried out immediately that thing happened. And that is the reason why you could see that a known bandit was distributing money on live TikTok. You know, it was distributing money live on TikTok. 
the other day and people were dropping their account number and was crediting them doing giveaway from the money that was paid as ransom you see but the nigerian police were not able to track him and pick him up but in the other way around another guy was a trace for calling for bad i mean for violence protests in jails he was traced within 24 hours and was picked up by the nigerian police so when you look at all of this together you begin to ask yourself question is it just like um uh, uh the case of what uh, adam sashobole once used the issue of uh, was it dog or uh, a case of he goats when <laughs> so when you look at all of this what do you make of this is this the right way to go as uh, a nation with our security agency now you could actually believe and understand with me the reason why insecurity in nigeria will not come to an end because this is just uh, a little issue that could have been handled appropriately but they were not handling it as they ought to and the police is here releasing a statement this evening being monday uh, uh 12th august saying that they can actually boggled anywhere they choose to on the light the world choose so if they decide to they will but if they don't they will let it be so if you like let them kill one million people if they want to they will end it but if they don't they allow the terrorists to continue with their business that is what it is let me have your take at the comment section thank you for watching